New tonight, there is a new push to make the city of Douglasville safer for teenagers. It was almost a year ago now that Bobby Tillman was beaten to death outside of a house party. And now Tillman's mother wants to see parents play an active role. Only on CBS Atlanta tonight, Tillman's mother spoke to Jennifer Merrily about what she wants to see happen in the city. And Monique Rivard wants parents to notify police before they have a party so that police will know where teens are gathering. She approached the city council to get this resolution passed in her son's name. We want the kids to enjoy their lives. We just want them to be safe. That is Monique Rivard's hope for kids living in Douglasville and beyond. Her own son, 18-year-old Bobby Tillman, was stomped and beaten to death outside a party last November. It began with a fight between other people. Tillman was an innocent bystander. There was no meaning to it. Um, so what I want to do is give it meaning. My son did not die in vain. Bobby will save someone's life. That's why Rivard drafted a resolution with her sister asking the city council to form a teen violence committee as well as asking parents to voluntarily let police know when they're hosting a party. Had the homeowner call in the party that maybe my son would be here today. Had they had seen the car ride by a couple of times it may have change their minds. Rivard's resolution has gained support with the city and police. You may want to have a party for your kid and, and just have like 10 or 15 people there, but they get on Facebook, Twitter, and then next thing you know, you got 50 or 100 there. Deputy Police Chief Gary Sparks believes this can help without draining police resources. I think it's a proactive approach to the problems that we have seen. The city manager agrees. We're delighted to be supportive of uh, through the resolution. Rivard wants parents to get on board too. And I really don't um, see why one parent wouldn't want to do this for the safety of their child and the safety of other children. And the resolution goes to the Douglas City Council for a vote in just under two weeks. They are expected to write their own version of the resolution, which is expected to pass. Live in Douglasville, Jennifer Merrily, CBS Atlanta News. Thank you, Jen. On Facebook.